The world we live in is changing all the time, and that includes everything from our current political climate to the way we stock up on clothes and food. In this day and age, things are moving faster than ever, and we can see that through the way that we buy things. Vending machines exist like never before, and today we're showing you 10 strange vending machines that actually exist. Our favorite digital vending machine is the Hub, and it's really easy to use too. Simply press the subscribe button, and then you'll be able to pick whichever video you want. The best part is that it's all free. Live Crab If the thought of grabbing a bag of chips or a chocolate bar from a vending machine was starting to get a bit boring, then China's Live Crab Machine could be just the one for you. Yes, you heard us correctly there. Not only can you buy crabs from a machine in China, but they're also still alive. The company behind them even promises that if your crab leaves the machine not breathing, then you'll get a free refund. You might be hesitant to purchase a crab from a machine on this basis, because surely it must be difficult to keep them alive. Well, in actual fact, the machine is kept at a refrigerated temperature to ensure their survival, and at around $3 a time, it's not that much of an investment if your crab appears to be slightly too still once it's fallen out of the machine. The first live crab vending machine opened in September 2013, and a few have sprung up around China since then. Not only do you get the crab for $3, but it also comes with the appropriate sides of crab vinegar and ginger tea. We didn't realize there was a gap in the market for this sort of thing, but the machine gets restocked every single day, so clearly somebody's onto a winner here. Caviar Continuing with our fishy theme, but in a slightly different manner, is the caviar vending machine in Los Angeles. You'll have to go to a specific place to find these machines because they're not situated randomly around the area. In fact, they're at three malls only, Westfield Century City, Westfield Topanga, and Burbank Town Center. Clearly, the business behind this particular launch knew that caviar might not go down so well in all areas of LA, but the machines aren't designed purely with the richest and only the richest in mind. Sure, you can spend $500 in one go on an ounce of Imperial River Beluga caviar, which might be a bit of a waste of money if you ask us, but you can also spend only $5 on their lowest price wear. Correct us if we're wrong, but we'd always assume that caviar was only something that the wealthiest levels of society could enjoy and being able to get it out of a vending machine to enjoy on the sidewalk kind of ruins that appeal a bit. Unsurprisingly, it's a costly business, and each of the three machines costs around $85,000 to build. However, unlike the standard vending machine, this one's contents add up to almost $50,000. Underwear If you thought the days of bringing a spare pair of underwear out with you were behind you, then think again. Sure, in most parts of the world, it's not really the done thing to carry spare underwear around with you, but in Japan, anything goes. There's a lot of controversy surrounding these underwear vending machines, and not just because of how unusual they seem to be to the Western world, but they seem to be a big hit with the locals and tourists, which we like to think is down to the novelty element. And Japan has certainly banked on these vending machines, because they're not short of varieties. The most popular kind is called used panties, but we think something must have got lost in translation here because all used means is frayed. A bit like how you can buy deliberately ripped designer jeans. In Japan, you can buy intentionally frayed underwear. Now there's a gap in the market we didn't expect to thrive. The machines are unsurprisingly not clearly visible unless you're looking for them, which is probably due to their nature. Of course, if you did accidentally have to buy a new pair while you were out, you might not want to draw attention to yourself. Pet food. If you've ever been rushing around food shopping, got back in your car, and realized you've forgotten to buy pet food, then we've got the answer for you here. Sure, we realize this is a bit of a niche business plan, but when there's a market for it, somebody is obviously going to launch it, no matter how small. So we assume this is how the pet food vending machine was created. Although actually, behind the scenes, the Turkish company behind this launch had a far more innocent plan on the way. These vending machines not only encourage recycling, but they also help stray animals. The idea is to donate a bottle and a portion of food will come out, which can then be fed to Istanbul's stray cats and dogs. There's even a truly innovative element. You can donate water through this machine. It has two separate holes, one for empty cans or bottles and another for water, which typically is poured from the bottle before it's donated. Then two individual spaces at the bottom of the machine release food and water for whichever animal happens to be wandering past at the time. Although local residents were worried that the machine would bring an influx of strays to the area at first, this hasn't happened. Now, 61 different countries have expressed an interest in the vending machines, and they're also due to be shipped out to 20 cities in Turkey. Gold Think of this as a very strange variation of a cash machine, except it probably would have been more appreciated back in the days when we actually used gold as a currency rather than standard money. But we're sure someone out there is using it, even if it's only a small number of individuals with more money than cents. But who are we to judge? 
The gold machine is smarter than a lot of others out there because it updates its prices every 10 minutes depending on how the market is fluctuating. Sure, we imagine this is more important with gold rather than a bag of chips because we don't imagine even your favorite snacks are going to increase in market share that much over the course of 10 minutes. And despite their varying prices, these gold machines seem to be something of a hit. They're already stationed around Europe, America, and the Emirates. Although those who purchase from them seem to do more so for a novelty experience rather than to build up their stocks. But as spontaneous purchases go, this is definitely one of the more expensive ones. The machine dispenses bars from 1 gram up to 250 grams, the latter of which will set you back around $13,000. Seeing as we don't tend to use gold in many circumstances nowadays, you might be better off sticking to a fridge magnet or a postcard if you're looking for something fun to take home from your trip. Mashed Potato There are a few things more comforting than a big old bowl of mashed potatoes. Whatever the occasion, if you're feeling stressed out or just need something to warm you up, mashed potatoes has the answer. Clearly, Singapore is one step ahead of us here because they've created the ultimate comfort station, the mashed potato vending machine. We can see you hesitating. Is mashed potatoes from a machine even half as good as the bowls of joy we can conjure up in the kitchen at home? Let's be honest here, because it doesn't even take that long to create. Well, we should be open to trying the experience and we can definitely see the appeal. These machines also have the added benefit of giving you your mashed potatoes for only $1. And if that wasn't enough to convince you that this was a revolutionary idea, then we don't know what is. They also allow you to pay extra for gravy, but that's something for you to decide yourself. We don't want to try and alter your decisions there. Unfortunately, these machines only exist at 7-Elevens in Singapore for the time being, and the company has no desire to expand their stock quite yet. So if you happen to live nearby, go out and try the mashed potato vending machine and let us know in the comments if you liked it or not. Socks. If replacing your underwear wasn't enough, then we've got some good news for you. In some vending machines around the world, you can stock up on a new pair of socks too. And rest assured, these are all 100% brand new. And as far as we're aware, there's no option to buy them frayed or with a hole in the toe. We'll admit, we don't know why it's taken so long for sock vending machines to become a real thing. How many times have you been out and realized your socks are really itchy or have a hole in them or simply don't match? If you're on the way home, this might not be an issue, but if you're going to the office, then a matching pair of socks might make all the difference. The machines were initially created for runners who might just have really sweaty feet or perhaps just fancy a fresh change of socks, but now they're growing in popularity and we're definitely on board with it. With the rise of this and the underwear machine, soon we're barely going to ever need to go clothes shopping again. Let's just hope that these garments aren't so impressive that they blow your socks off or we could be straight back to square one. Vending machine restaurants. Fast food outlets seem like the perfect solution if you're hungry but don't want to socialize with anyone. If the thought of fried chicken makes you happy, but the thought of chatting away to a cashier makes you sad, then takeout is the best option. Well, the Netherlands has revolutionized this idea entirely and has taken the act of unsociable eating to a whole new level. That's right, in the Netherlands, you can now order an entire meal from a vending machine restaurant. Usually the word restaurant conjures up a picture of a nice evening with smart clothes and a three course meal served by a smiling waiter. That's all about to change because the vending machine element of this restaurant experience means you don't actually need to talk to a human at all, not even to answer the door like with a takeaway. Admittedly, you won't get the table service or vast range of food from these vending machines because we're talking more chicken wings, burgers and fries rather than luxury cuts of meat or organic vegetables. But maybe, just maybe, if the people behind the vending machine restaurants teamed up with those behind the caviar machine, we could be onto something. Maybe five star vending restaurants will exist one day after all. Guitar strings. Picture the scene. You're at a band practice, you've got a great new song you're about to belt out, and then suddenly, your guitar string snaps. What can you do? The nearest music store is closed, and driving all the way back into town will cut into practice time. There's no solution, or is there? If you happen to live in Melbourne, Australia, you could just be in luck. Vending machines for guitar strings now exist, so all of your string-themed issues are no longer a thing. Along with strings, the machine sells a variety of band-related equipment. You can buy drumsticks, picks, capos, cables, and straps. So no matter what sort of problem you find yourself in, you can probably purchase a replacement from this machine. This is another machine that we didn't think would serve a gap in the market. But yet again, we've been surprised. We're also wondering whether the company has plans to expand outside of Australia, or maybe it's just the people of Melbourne who need a constant supply of new guitar strings. Whatever the case, it means you've got no excuse to miss a gig or practice session if you've got a replacement machine just down the road. Canned Bread We imagine a few of these machines might have surprised you, but we thought we'd leave the weirdest for last. 
What could possibly be stranger than underwear, live crabs, or real blocks of gold? The answer, of course, is canned bread. Again, this is one you'll only find in Japan for the time being, and we can't really see why it would need to expand to the US anytime soon, because we luckily have a near constant supply of fresh bread. We bet that will make you think twice next time you're making a sandwich. But we do have a few questions about canned bread. We guess it's canned to keep it fresh because there's only so long you can store room temperature bread before it goes off. Similarly, although frozen bread would last for months, you can't eat it straight away. Well, you could, but it wouldn't taste so great. So the solution here seems to be can the bread instead. We're not sure what sort of situation you would have to find yourself in when you so desperately needed some bread, but if that's the case, then we found the solution. Maybe if we ignore the vast expanse of food outlets and supermarkets, we can start to understand the reasons behind this particular vending machine. Well, we don't know about you, but we're definitely going to be keeping our eyes open to see if we can spot some of these machines around. We hope you like this video, and we'll see you next time!